Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Half Man Half Amazing and I'm going to do a little video here to show you guys a few things that I picked up on my trip to Grand Junction here today. Um, stop by Top 5 Comics in Grand Junction, Colorado, 66 miles away from my house. Um, again, as you guys know, I'm a big Hastings customer, but unfortunately they are almost done here. Um, so I wanted to show you guys the nearest LCS to me, which um, is Top 5 Comics. A few of the pickups there. And also, when I got back, found out that got something in the mail too. So, a uh, haul, an unboxing, a couple of things in this video. So, hopefully, you enjoy that. Uh, stay tuned, relax. Let me explain to you what I got. All right, guys. Well, um, I was able to make my way over to Grand Junction, Colorado, here to Top Five Comics. Rob and Steve holding it down over there at Top Five, and. Came up on a few things, all right? So since my LCS is 66 miles away, I wanted to make sure I took full advantage. He did have some books that I did not expect to be there. Uh, my, my comeuppance, I guess. But uh, let me get started here with that. This is the Flintstones book, variant cover, that I fell in love with the first time I saw it here on YouTube. So um, had to pick that up as well as the regular cover. Now, am I gonna pick, be pulling Flintstones? Probably not, but these covers definitely drew my attention here. Wilma, uh, Pebbles, Fred Flintstone, all right there. Um, love it. It's, uh, you know, definitely reminds me of back in the day and uh, not really to date myself, but do you remember watching them on TV? Whatever, let's move on. Next one I picked up here was the variant cover for the DC Rebirth, New Superman. Uh, this is the variant cover. As you saw in my previous haul, I did receive or did pick up the original uh, at Hastings, but was not able to come up on the variant until I went over to top five. So there you go. Speaking of variants, also was able to pick up The Flash, number one rebirth. This is the variant cover. Um, I have this coming to me from Horizon Comics in California, but that pull has not yet arrived. So I want to make sure I got a second copy of that at top five another one that i found on top of the heap of all these books now if you look at the thumbnail you'll see that the books are just scattered everywhere he's got his new stuff piled on top of his old stuff and it's just really unorganized sorry about that uh steve but you are very unorganized um he seems to however know where everything is it's basically controlled chaos so just ask him hey do you have this and he'll dig it out for you that's basically the way it works. Um, none of his books that are new releases are bag and boarded. So either you ask for bag and boards from him or you bring them with you when you come into the store like I do. Um, either way, not a bad idea. And um, this one was just sitting on top of the heap. So scooped it up, bagged and boarded it, and that was the end of that. Also picked up DC Universe Rebirth number one. For some reason, this was still available. So whatever. Saw it, first print. Picked it up. Now I have more than one. More than two, I should say. So whatever. Um, another new book that came out here recently. Harley Quinn, number 30. Love the black cover. It's beautiful. The contrast here with the white skin. And Harley across the arm. Quinn across the legs, let's say. Um, loved it. And I know my boy Spider-Man over there loves it as well. So sorry, dude. Don't mean to call you out, but I know you do. Um, anyway... Speaking of girls that Spider-Man digs, had to pick up Batgirl number one. Now, I picked up Batgirl number one, Rebirth, because of the whole thing going on with the killing joke. Thought the stipulation was going to be, you know, she's going to start picking up in popularity. But watched a little bit of, you know, Blast It or Stash It, and they hated it. So before I went on my run, I should have watched Blast It or Stash It first. Unfortunately, I saw it after the fact, so my loss. Apparently this book sucks, but I picked it up anyway. Back row number one, everybody. Back row number one. Um, the last but not least, though, I picked up some sweet, sweet books. I was digging. I asked him, hey, dude, out of curiosity, do you have, you know, Avenging Spider-Man number one, I mean, number nine? He's like, you know what? I don't know. They'd be over here. He looked in three different spots to see if he could find this book for me. And um, finally, he went into his old boxes there and was pulling up all the avenging spider-mans he had number one two three four five six seven eight and it came to nine and the variant cover the second print here it is 
Avenging Spider-Man number nine. This was pretty cool because it's, you know, hard to find, apparently. The uh, number nine. So this is a... Uh, Five twenty-five. I was happy to pay. Cover price is three ninety-nine, but whatever. And he did dig up a first of print number nine, guys. And the funny part is he charged me three ninety-nine for this one, five twenty-five for that one. I really think uh, the you know first appearance is uh, excuse me the uh, first print is worth a little bit more. Both of these together on eBay, I saw them for a hundred bucks. So it's crazy. I picked them for a cover and then five twenty-five for the variant. So. Happy to have it. Very, very grateful for that. Now, the next book I'm going to show you guys, the next couple of books, was a trade I did with Video Game Mania 27. Well, wow, guys, looks like this is uh, a trade that I got here from uh, Video Game Mania 27. This is the uh, actual letter here. Thanks for the Invincible Iron Man number seven and number nine. I added some books to your collection, for your collection. Sorry about the handwriting. Also, I throw in some Pokemon cards in for ACG 2.0. Nice. Thank you very much here, uh, Video Game Mania 27. Very much appreciated. Let's uh, see the trade. Now, this kid has a YouTube channel. I'll put his link down below. He's an awesome kid. He does need some help here with his camera. So, you know. Um, as soon as he gets some better camera and some lighting there, you'll be able to see all the great things he has to offer. But he does post videos, guys, and I encourage you to go follow this man. He's a cool kid and uh, definitely promoting his, plugging his video, his uh, channel. Happy to do so. But this is one of the books he threw in for the trade that we did. We have a Spider-Man 82. Um, hadn't seen this cover before, so glad to have this thrown in here. Um, he also threw in um, a couple of other books that uh, ACG 2.0 scooped up. He asked me to bag and board them, and now they're in his collection. As well as some Pokemon cards he threw in for ACG 2.0, which of course I appreciate. Thank you very much, Video Game Mania 27. But the reason for the trade is right here. Now, if you saw his video, he, had, he was showing this book, but it didn't do it justice. Again, camera issues and lighting. But this is Uncanny X-Men number 141. This is the uh, beginning of Days Futures Past. And did not have this in my collection. Chris Claremont, again, very fan, big fan myself of his work. Have a lot of his, his uh, X-Men books. But this one was not in my collection for some reason. So happy to pick it up. We wanted to make a trade. We worked something out and um, was able to put this finally in the uh, Half Man, Half Amazing collection. So thank you very, very much again, Video Game Mania 27. Um, came in great. Love having it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Your books will be going out with uh, the hopefully the winner of the uh, contest there for the uh, ACG 2.0. This, guys, in case you forgot, is the booty for the contest of ACG 2.0. Invincible Iron Man number seven. Now, again, if you're subscribed to ACG 2.0, I'll put that link down below as well. And do a shout-out video. Please let me know on my original video where I started this contest. I will put the link to that video as well. That way it's easy to go ahead and do for you guys. Um, let me know that you've done a video, a shout out, and I will include you in the drawing. ACG 2.0 himself will draw the winner from that, um, from that hat. And this book, as well as a few others, will be mailed out to you. All right? So... Please do so, guys. Again, I'll put that link down below. So thanks again, Video Game Mania, for Uncanny X-Men 141. Love it. Um, thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you again, guys, for watching. Um, from myself, Half Man, Half Amazing. Till next time, guys. Out. Her work. I guess I'll leave that question.
question to the experts Assuming that there are some out there They're probably alone, solitaire I can remember when I caught up with a pastime Intimate friend, she said But you're probably gonna say I look lovely But you probably don't think nothing of me She was right though, I can't lie She's just one of those corners of my mind And I just put her right back with the rest That's the way it goes Like baby, you see me from a camera. 